Okay. Moving on to, uh, I hope he comes back because Dark's actually invested in uh, H. Petum. <laughs> yeah, he he bought the um, the the what's it called the touch pack for hundred bucks. So why I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> well, he made a good investment because those are apparently selling for three hundred dollars plus on eBay right now. <laughs> yeah, and then you get an eBay account suspended. <laughs> Pickledy pickledies. <laughs> you know, this is a bombshell for HP to do this, but I can't say I'm surprised. HP has never made a good computer. You know, they bought Compaq and then started making good computers with the Compaq technology, but it didn't take them long to screw that up. They bought Palm to buy uh, Wild it's, it's, it's pretty damn good. It's not the power supply shit. Yeah. I can't add another video with crap, but they added the express lane. It was like, ooh, what's good is that going to do me? You know? Lost Matthew. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but yeah. So what do you think is going to happen? Oh, maybe we should wait well, for I did a video happen. about it where I said that, uh, you know, the WebOS had died and it got me back to all those nostalgic feelings of how little I cared about it then and how little I cared about it now. No offense. Yeah, it was a good operating system. It's the, the, the people have been saying it's the curse of BIOS. You know, I, I don't know about that. I mean, it's t it's Linux based, not B, uh, not uh, BSD based. No, no, no BIOS. You know, be, you know, you know, because of the uh, the what you call the Palm thing. Oh. You know, Big Inc. Uh, bought Palm, and Palm made uh, WebOS, and you know. And what, you know, like an HP bought WebOS, now WebOS is dead. It's the curse of BIOS. <laughs> uh, Don't you call that, uh, uh, it's, it's call that the, video, the curse of BIOS? Well, you know, there's a lot of people who actually love WebOS. I mean, even even Mr. Bit loves WebOS. He's a Mackian on everything else, but he loves WebOS. Yeah, uh, and he's <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Are we going to see a video of him drinking a bottle of tequila saying, this is for you, WebOS? <laughs> <laughs> You know what? We may we may be doing that on iWorld, assuming he shows up this week. Somehow it's like, it's like okay, choose your drink. We're gonna toast to Wimbledon. <laughs> may it rest in pieces. Uh, honestly, uh, I it, HP says they're not gonna just scrap it. They're probably gonna sell their personal computer slash WebOS thing off. Yeah, but who's going to license it out? You know, are they going to do the Apple thing? Well, no, the that, 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 that's the thing. If I had the money, I would buy that. I don't have the money, so it's not an option. But if I had the money, I'd <laughs> buy that in a heartbeat. Uh, and because, I mean, it's kind of a turnkey thing for somebody who wants to get into the hardware thing and not do the cheap is good thing and everything that HP had been doing for a while, you know, just make quality. You know, if you tax like 10 bucks a device, you know, damn, that would be pretty, that'd be pretty profitable. I never just, liked HP hardware. Well, no, there, there, there's some changes that need to happen to it, but it, it's still, <laughs> it, it, like I said, it's turnkey for somebody who's willing to take it, gut it, and turn it into a good, com a good computer brand, because that, that can be done to it. Uh, there are no good OEMs. <laughs> just, I wonder how Dell's doing. I haven't heard anything from them lately. Um, Dell. Yeah, they didn't make their profits or whatever they thought they were going to make. Yeah, well, nobody is in, <laughs> in the uh, OEM. But they're, they're reaping the benefits of trying to do cheap, 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 cheap. Because. Uh, That's what people want. Well, I, you know what? No, people think they want cheap, but they. People wanting cheap is like people wanting the federal government to supply them with employment, money, and food. It does. It's like it sounds like a great idea until you realize ultimately the money has to come from you. You know, and then you're like, okay, so I give you a dollar and you give me seventy cents and repeat till we're all broke. You know, yeah. <laughs> that's the same thing with the cheap computer. All right, enough with the political tangent. <laughs> no, it's like, but you know. Um, what I find funny is I'm still seeing endless web OS commercials right now. That's, <laughs> you know, the pre's never going to come here. Do we think anybody's going to buy HP? Do you think there's like somebody out there? I mean, what company would buy them? You think Google would buy them? <laughs> well, they did they spend most of that money that, they, that they've acquired over the years, like $10 billion. They only have like 100 million left or a billion left or whatever. But anyway, they don't have that much money left, and they bought it like an enterprise firm or something. 
Well, the only thing HP that made that was really worth it was their printers. Which they promptly screwed up by trying to cheat the consumer, and nobody. Actually, yeah, I do have some on my Skype contact list who was actually works for the HP print department, but I think he's on the NDA. <laughs> well, no, he's not on. Okay. Of the uh, printer, uh, uh, what's I guess we're just gonna have to go with uh, uh, Canon now. Or Kodak? No, you don't want to go with Kodak. Canon has always had better color management, but HP has always had a better agnostic driver. It's kind of a, a weird thing there. But Canon is, yeah, I wouldn't buy uh, Lexmart or Ace or any of these other, and I definitely don't buy an Epson for crying out loud. It was better than, uh, well, well, we'll end up with Epson probably, but it was better than the Apple printers. <laughs> oh, I forgot Apple made printers. You're right. They're they even made their own cameras. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, they made everything at one point. Oh, God. Oh, man. Those printers suck. Oh, wait. They were HP's printers. The, so Apple, the Apple peripheral devices. Oh. Oh, those were awful, man. I think they are called PTA. I think that's what they are called. I don't remember. Oh. That's my hat bad, though. <laughs> Until Steve Jobs joined back in, he says, We're going USB. Mm. <laughs> God. And everybody called it the new Apple peripheral. Yeah. Until uh, PCs. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. But uh, it's like an Apple TV joke. He said peripheral in one of his videos. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, anyways, getting back on the HP supposedly being sold to somebody, but we don't have clue. Um, you know, one, one of the theories going around is that Google might buy them. I hope not. Oh, God, no. <laughs> no, uh, Yeah, I do not want to see a whole line of Chrome OS HP TV yeah, I don't want to see Dell buy them either. Yeah, I, I, Dell has no need to buy HP. Uh, the only reason Lenovo bought the ThinkPad division is because they had been making it for IBM for years and they were just protecting their investment. Uh, that isn't the case with anybody with HP, really. Uh, Does Lenovo might buy them or something? Now, it, it, what would be interesting, although I don't want this to happen, but I would like something along these lines to happen, would be if a an outs what, what is currently an outsider in the hardware business, someone like Canonical, would buy them. If if Canonical bought them, we'd have the Linux Apple. But if we had uh -huh. if we had a company like that that wouldn't turn it into the other Apple. That would actually be a good thing for the industry because it might spur and force innovation to get started again. As you know what? I wouldn't mind another Apple just as long as it's a different Apple, like an Apple where it's semi good. I would mm. like another Commodore, but instead we just have another OME from them. What about me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, like, like we're saying, it's like the people we'd like to buy them probably won't, and the people who, I mean, it's a, it's a hard match because, especially in this economy, who's really going to do that? And if it sits around too long, even if Plan A isn't liquidating it, they probably would. Yeah, that's just self-dyed beer. You know? Oh, they want. That's the thing. If it if a buyer doesn't come around that wants to buy it, they'll just. They'll just shut it down, dissolve it, and liquidate it, and it won't exist anymore. Because they they've decided they don't want anything to do with it. Hmm. Yeah. It's all starting to go down to one company. Mm. Oh. I mean, Disney actually owns stock in Apple. Yeah. It'll be like the mom kind of corporation, where mom owns everything. Yeah, Jobs is the biggest Disney and Pixar yeah, stockholder. Yeah, because, yeah, well, he, he did mess with Pixar. Now, the other thing that's been toyed around with the death of HP, this would be interesting, is Microsoft might buy them. Oh, God. Yeah, they'll, they'll live with Imagine that. some flagship Windows machines. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I'm... That, 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 that's the only reason that would be interesting, and that we would finally get to see a flagship Windows as Microsoft envisions it. Yeah, and um, if they make um, Windows only to an OEM, like if they pull an Apple, we're going to see a federal regulation. No, no, no. Microsoft would never do that. My, it I would know, just well, be... Well, all, all, 
all I've been seeing all over the internet is everybody giving their love to Microsoft. I don't know why. They want Nintendo to die horribly. You know what? I take offense to that. As a child of the 80s, who had their childhood predominantly in the 80s, I take offense to that. Nintendo is cool. It was inferior hardware to Sega, but it was cool. <laughs> and anybody who remembers what I'm talking about will forever I don't remember what you were talking about, but I remember it from like about five years later, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you remember it when Sega was in the what the F decline, and Nintendo was just kind of taking over everything. <laughs> it was like, yeah. There was a time when Sega was actually on the rise, and Nintendo's had to be sold with a little fake toy robot because nobody wanted a game system. <laughs> Yeah, that's the uh, game industry in America. <laughs> well, America and Canada. It was the North yeah. American video game crash, not the uh, USA. Well, oh, no, America. yeah. What, what, what was really funny about <laughs> that America. is during that... America. What was really funny about that was during that whole crash, video games were doing great in Japan and yeah, other parts yeah, of Asia. Games. It was the booming golden era of ga video games over there. They just kind of took over everything. <laughs> it still is there. Well, what do you expect when you cram that many people in that little space? We have to go to our virtual everything, you know? <laughs> yeah. I don't know when people in an island was smaller than California had run. But, and then they came out with that, what was that, uh, Final Fantasy twelve that really, that nobody liked online? I, you yeah, know, anyway, what's... I, I'm not the biggest fan of the Final Fantasy genre. I know, like, bits and pieces about it, but I don't really, I've never really followed it. I'm going to put it this way. Do you love reading nothing but text? Not really. Then you'll hate the game. Okay. It's one okay. of the... Okay. Okay. It's, it's, one of, uh, it, it's basically a high graphical game with a lot of graphics, but you got to read a shitload of text. So there's no, like, voice dubbing with the text or anything? It's, there's voices in there, but there's just a lot of text in there. <laughs> and uh, you have to know... You gotta really go in your mathematics to get all your armors and crap right until the point that you gotta be a uh, a, a mathematical genius. Well, I I I, I, I had that bad. No, I, we, we've experienced that for years with like with Sorrow, you know, like or the old. Yeah, they put in games. a whole bunch of numbers. Uh, It'll be like a wall of numbers. Cause, I had that bad. You know, that's how RPGs usually roll. I like that. Anyway, we kind of go out of line. Uh, yeah, anyways, is there anything else we want to go into? Because we're actually a little short of an hour, but we have gone into the big thing, the big two things. Well, Sony lowered the price of their PS3 two times. No, 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 I just want to see what else we skipped before. Yeah, like, what about yeah the, the, that, that's the other thing. Since we've had a gaming show, we might as well go into that. Uh, there's a little feud going on right now between Sony and Microsoft to try uh, and take control of the gaming industry. Microsoft's approach is, Sony's in trouble, we smell blood, let's give our platform away to everybody. There, I, well, I, and, and Sony's is, let's lower the price, let's lower the price, we promise your credit card won't get stolen this time. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not just that, it's just that Sony came out with a console with a high-powered uh, processor, but an extremely low-powered uh, GPU. Yep. And very low RAM. Well, they all have twelve. They all do. See, that was the thing. The the the, the PlayStation uh, is kind of a hodgepodge of two business models that have no business being with each other. On the one hand, like you're saying, they put a really great CPU in there and they're like, the modders and the, and the geeks and the Sean people will love this, but it is a game console, so it doesn't really need that CPU and it doesn't really need any memory or graphics or anything else. Yeah, so, the CPU the console with the GPU. Yeah, so we're just going to kind of underclock everything so that it's a cool piece of technology, but then we're going to punish anybody who tries to make use of it. And, you know, it's like, it's like it, 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 you almost think that there were two people at Sony when the PlayStation was designed. One of them was trying to build Machine X, and the other person was trying to build Machine Y, and the PS3 was born. You know? That's a real game. It's like, oh, I really want this. I want this. Build this. Build this. They build it. Well, okay, I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm not getting Xbox. 
future rumors are saying that they're going to put a more high power. They're going to concentrate more on the GPU now. And from what I hear, that's what they're planning on doing around their next PlayStation, which is. Now, can somebody really afford losing all this money? I don't know. Uh, they're not. They're not that cash poor. Sony, Sony, uh, and really, that's how the console market is played. They're probably giving them away. It's, uh, you know, Nintendo's not giving them away. They make money on every single Wii. Well, a lot of people are declaring Nintendo dead after seeing the Wii U. They're saying that Nintendo's not going to be around in much longer. Well, I'm saying I could buy a Wii brand new and and not and not buy any games. Nintendo already made money off of me. Yeah, but that's not how you make money in the console business. You make some yeah, I, I know you make money on all these, but still, like. They're not selling any games and they're already making money. They make money on Wii Bowling, which comes with the freaking Wii. Yeah, but that, that, that's, in the long run, that's actually a way to lose a lot of money in the console business because you wind up becoming almost obsolete, people don't develop for you, so on and so forth. That, that's basically what happened to Sega. Sega was doing that business model, and eventually... They were losing so much money that they just decided, screw it, we're out of the console business, we release games. That, that's and they almost went bankrupt after they made that decision, too. But they, they did manage to make it through to the point that they are now once more profitable. Uh, yeah. n now, Sega didn't have the best exclusive uh, library. If Nintendo, <laughs> yeah, If Nintendo is really going bust... On the other hand, Nintendo has this great classic exclusive library. They have, uh, they have uh, Mario, they have Zelda, they have Pokemon, they have a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, Metroid. Metroid, Super Mega Man, so they have a whole score. No, Mega Man's Capcom. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. Mega Man's Capcom. From what I understand, when everybody saw Wii U, some people, uh, a lot of the people said Nintendo's dead. It's going to go. There's no way of saving it. This console's going to kill it. I'm actually excited for the Wii U. But, that's all I heard. Gone. Sorry. Uh, I'm, just I'm, just the, I'm just saying I'm excited for the Wii U. Yeah. Uh, this is only the second part of what? <laughs> say what? This is only the second part of what? Yeah, well, yeah, we're we're actually about to hit a, hit an hour. Uh, do do y'all want to tail off here or? And if, and and of course, what's also happened is that the 3DS sales have plummeted. Well, the 3DS really costs too much for what it is. If it was the 3DS, I think needs to hit the seventy nine or ninety nine dollar price point. For, I think one twenty is like close, they closer. You know, like that's really acceptable, you know. No, but the 3DS is what it is, you know. No, but at the end of the day, the 3DS is, for all its things... There's no baby story, you know? The, even though it's big and it's it's got 3D and it's got all these things and it's powerful enough to run old N64 games and, uh, and, and so on and so forth, the reality is it's a portable Android game. Android and the iOS devices are killing it. Yeah, no, that's the thing. You can get uh, an Android or iOS device for... Fifty to two hundred dollars subsidized, which means for yeah, I don't want no contract though. <laughs> well, okay, but I'm I thinking of Nexus One. I, I'm thinking of the average household that's going to be buying that. They're going to be buying it for the uh, ten to fourteen year old kid, and they're going to be looking and at going to Dave friends from hell. Yeah, and they're going and they're going to be looking at. Uh, if mom, if the kid's buying it, you know, hopefully the kid's working and uh, are buying it with allowance money rather than mom and dad's kid. And if mom and dad are buying it, they're going to be looking at, let me see, I can give them a smartphone where I can turn GPS tracking on and know where they are all the time. Or I can spend more money on something that does less and doesn't tell me where Junior is all the time. Hmm. <laughs> it's like... You know, so the reality is, it it, it has. Whatever happened, you have to be you have to be home by the time the streetlights turn on, or it should be beaten. <laughs> well, but do you agree? Do you guys agree that Nintendo's going to die? With what with everybody else is saying? No. Um, I hope to listen to their IPs at third parties. Well, not not the not the IPs, like the publishing of the IPs. To I, I, 
I have been thinking for a few years now that eventually what's going to happen to Nintendo is the same thing that happened to Sega. However, unlike with Sega, I don't see that being a rough transition for Nintendo. When the console market finally becomes unprofitable for Nintendo, I see Nintendo immediately turning around and doing what Sega did and just licensing out their stuff. And given what Nintendo's archive and uh, gene, excuse me, and games they have access to in their thing, they will be making money the day they do that. They this can, is what I see going on. I see that there's going to be a Google TV and it's going to be licensed out to the Google TV and the, uh, and the Android devices. And also the new Apple TV will actually be a game console. Even though it's not now, it will be. Well, let's see. That, it doesn't even have a hard drive. Well, no, but so, as of today, as of today, it does not. But in the future, maybe future revisions. And, and you know. Apple TV is worthless. And everyone's as like, "How do you take down the consoles?" And it's like, "No way." As of today, <laughs> uh, so, it doesn't have anymore now. But in future revisions, you know, the Mac Mini didn't have a Core i7 in there you know, like two years ago, did it? No. And Mac Mini should have had an i5 in it two years ago. Not <laughs> only that, but I'm with the uh, Apple TV. Apple's not going to put that on there. Well, no, no you, 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 my touch. Uh, okay, so Commodore, you're... Th That's you, stupid. Yeah, 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 so wait, so what you're saying actually makes sense for like what I'm thinking with Nintendo, because honestly, if Nintendo just accepts that and licenses their stuff out to Android, iOS and whatever Google's other yeah, platform is, they make oh, no, money no. off of everybody. They become the new king of this emerging way everything's going. Well, that's, that's already happened. There's an internal struggle in Nintendo, and they want Nintendo uh, to open all of its uh, th library games on the iOS. It, it, you know, and, and you know what? If they do that, if I could go buy Mario Brothers and Legend of Zelda and all of this on my Android phone or iOS device, the last time. Yeah, yeah. But you know, then it follows you around. And, so, and you know what? People would be willing to pay ninety nine cents to nine ninety nine ninety five for those. You know, or they'd pay a subscription thing, which would be even better for Nintendo. They're getting money out of every single person for yada yada yada. yada. You know, it's th that that's a win-win for Nintendo all around. If they can accept they're not a console company, it took them a while, but they accepted they weren't a playing card company anymore. You know. <laughs> and now they're a hotel, which was uh, basically a Japanese sex hotel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course, though, it, it, I, I don't know if I agree with you on the Apple TV, Commodore, though, because that would mean Apple would have to stand up on stage and go, we made a mistake, but here's how we fixed it. They're making it exactly like it was before. Uh, no, no, that wasn't making it exactly like it was before. That was just acknowledging that Steve Jobs wasn't God's gift to technology. That's entirely different than acknowledging they made a mistake. No. <laughs> yes. uh, Apple Apple was forced into the game, video game market because uh, the fans pushed Apple into it with the iPod I mean with the iOS devices and that's why Game Center was created because Plus Plus and Open Font took over their app store <laughs> and Microsoft lost control you mean Apple well, yeah, yeah, Mike, Apple. <laughs> <laughs> Microsoft yeah. lost control a long time ago. <laughs> well, I mean, Apple lost control of their own app store. I mean, how do you do that? You squeeze it so tight that you strangle it, and yeah, then it just, that happens. <laughs> well, Apple killed Plus Plus finally, uh, uh, with the help of... Uh, Game Center, and now they're slowly killing Open Font. And because Open Font Plus Plus was like this, a whole list for you know getting your buddies on a game. It basically was like Xbox Live, and they, and they had achievements and all that. How's that like Steam? Yeah, and it was on the iOS devices when Apple should have been moderating that crap. Well, and see, that, that, that's the thing at the end of the day. I am still waiting for some third-party company to stand up and create an agnostic equivalent to that, because right now there's no way for Steam to talk to yada yada and yada yada to talk to live. Okay, recompile your program so they work in Mac and Linux, please, and thank you. Okay. <laughs> but... Thank you. And that's 
that's why I, but that's why I say Apple was forced into it. Oh, and I don't disagree with that, you know, but it's like, it, it, I, I laugh at the number of times Apple is forced into doing something that's profitable for them. I know. <laughs> it's like, hi, we here at Apple hate profit. We hate making a good product, and we hate serving the consumer's need. But damn, yeah, that pesky yeah. consumer just keeps insisting we actually make a product they want to buy. <laughs> you know why I think Apple TV is now useless? It's because there's now a connector for my iPod Touch that I can plug into my television set directly. And it only cost me 40 bucks. Yeah, you know what? Every time I see one of these, if you don't, like, if you didn't buy Apple, you weren't a retard commercials. Like, they're naming all the things. It's like, oh, well, you know, do you have FaceTime where you can talk to a Mac? No, I have FaceTime's competitor that can talk to Windows, Linux, Android, and iOS. <laughs> it's, like, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's like, dude, do you have something that allows you to connect via a cable that costs forty dollars? No, I have applications that let me do it wirelessly. It's like <laughs> oh, did you see those e-pad transformer commercials? Those are awesome. God. Well, what I'm saying though is that Apple has this uh, Apple TV, and they said we got airtime. You can play all your videos and MP3s. Well, yeah, AirPlay, and you can play it on your big screen TV. But then they come up with a forty dollar connector, which is sixty dollars less. That does all that <laughs> shit. What the hell? You know, I, that's that's the Apple way. That's that's all I can say to that. That's the Apple way. <laughs> you know, you remember that? You remember that? Uh, you know, like the Willy Wonka thing with the uh, with the like. Yes, I have five iPhones for so they control my uh, three Apple TVs. You know. Yeah, but that was a why I happen to agree with the sentiment of it. That was a bash parody on the Apple them. <laughs> yes, it was. But uh. still, I mean, I got a forty dollar connector, and I don't have to buy a hundred dollar piece of crap. Go ahead. It runs Netflix. Uh, are we gonna comment about the twelve gauge shotgun thing? A 12-gauge shotgun. Oh, uh, did we miss that? Yeah, we did. It was supposed to start out with that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, nah. <laughs> You know, that's it, sorry for that. We're dollar short. Yeah, it, it's been a while since I've wore those. Anyways, I should wear that. I should wear those again. They're, they're, they're my most comfortable effing shirts. They really are. It's like, <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know what Kami's talking about, somebody made a comment. Expletive. Are you okay? Your shirt appears to have gotten a what? You, you see me? Your sh shirt appears to have given. A way that you were shot with a 12 gauge. And I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. Yes, I'm a guy. My clothes eventually dissolve in a string of molecules out the window. It just, what happens? <laughs> yeah, and the women. Yeah, all, all clothes dissolve after time. Yeah. Well, then the women in her life go, damn it. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> okay, anything else we want to go into or on that depressing note? <laughs> I think PlayStation 4 is around the corner, though. And oh. I think it'll be... What? No, I, I agree that there's a console refresh due. I think the whole industry has been trying to put a console refresh off because they didn't want to try and launch new consoles in the middle of a... Okay, I guess the politically correct term is recession? And depression? <laughs> well, the problem is, is that... Uh, the, the consoles are not performing very well anymore. The Xbox, the... And also, Power PC is very expensive now. Because everybody wants it. I know. But the thing is, is that... Uh, you can't lower your console anymore. I mean, the PlayStation 3 is uh, like $100 now. How much lower are they going to go? 50 bucks? It, it, it's 100? Uh, you know, it's almost gotten to the point where for the console industry to make money... They have to build a thousand to fifteen hundred dollar machine, give it away for twenty to fifty bucks, and make it up on the back end. But basically, that means whatever console isn't tops this run is gonna drive the company almost bankrupt. 
Yeah. Uh, that's and, not very wise business model, though. Yeah, well, that the, the reality is the model that makes more sense for the gaming industry to do more than ever is just to get out of the console uh, business altogether and move into the same business model that MMORPGs have gone into. Well, maybe Sony can make a Google TV, you know, like, you know, like, by, you know, like, you know, that'd be one of the hardware providers, one of the OEMs or clothes manufacturers sort of like, uh, but Google do you guys TVs think where you can run your games on, you know? Do you and guys believe... Oh, sorry. But do you guys believe that the Wii U is going to be the death of Nintendo? Uh... I, 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 I am I am withholding my judgment on this bash of console things until everybody has their new system out. And the reason I say that is because at least three times in the past, starting back with the uh, GameCube, Nintendo has always been about to die. And then they slash the price and they wind up a third to half to fourth the cost of the next big competitor and for no other reason than they are the cheap game system they get that 8 to 12 year old market yeah well it's just because that uh, some people well, most people same old tech geek uh, believe that they're not going to uh, Microsoft and Sony are not going to release their consoles until 2015 okay and that's not that accurate well, I, and you know, that wouldn't surprise me, honestly, given the state, current state of the economy and the console industry. It, what about um, the Europeans? What about them? The same thing. It, 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 it's really a global thing right now. The reality is this is the worst. Launching a console right now is one of the... It, it's, a, it's, it's a bad time to launch a new console. And that's, Unless you can pull it off. You, it, unless it's ridiculously cheap, and that's what a lot of people are talking about with Nintendo. They're like, this isn't a $50 system, it's a bad time for it. Because um, it doesn't really matter. Because, uh, I mean, it's a bad time. Uh, well, well, the last, you know, like this generation around, you know, like, the, they start at like $400, you know, like, you know, like 400 500 600 damn. Well, the problem is Nintendo's not getting money off of their Wii's anymore. No. It, 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 nobody really. It, it, it's they're doomed if they don't, and they're doomed if they do. Yeah, I, well, it, like I said, I don't think they're. I don't think it's going to destroy them. I think it might change them. It just depends on their cash situation. Well, they sold over a hundred million Wii's, and they're pretty damn cheap to make. Yeah. Well, I know that Microsoft's next gaming console is going to be all based on, under casual gamers. Yeah. And, and they're going to. And from what I've been hearing from the rumor base, that they want to dump their entire hardcore gaming thing area. Oh yeah, well, it's Microsoft uh, doesn't really. Microsoft has never made money really on the Xbox. I mean, they they they've they've made some profit, but they've largely lo lost money on the platform. The job of the Xbox was to establish DirectX and to make Microsoft a media brand. And it succeeded in that regard, which is what yeah. Microsoft wanted it to do. Yeah, and the only reason why they succeeded was Sony fucked up bad. Uh, Sony's foot, they, they dropped the ball so bad, they, they practically just knocked on the, uh, Microsoft's door and said, here you go. Well, and, 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 and then this hack thing happened. Not yeah. once, not twice, but thrice! <laughs> Actually, it happened approximately four to uh, 15 times they all in a row. Shh! There's only the three reported ones. Shh! Anyways, you know, it's a, if, if Sony was smart, they would be doing what Microsoft is doing, and they would just be giving their console away to try and get people, oh yeah, a PlayStation can actually game some. You know, if they were smart. Sony's not that smart. <laughs> well, Sony knows... Uh, the reason why Sony doesn't do that is because they know the PlayStation 4 can't game. It technically can't. It's impossible. You can't even do in-game chat uh, in game chat with it. They should explain why, didn't they? What was the reason? Yeah, they finally came out. After five years, they finally said why there's no in-game chat in there. And why was that? Ram. Oh. Like a ram. And, of course, their old two cash is pathetic. Uh, Alright, is this thing shut off now or? <laughs> well, 
we're just depressing everybody who's a gamer. We're explaining to them why they're... Well, it, it's basically sounding like Microsoft's going to own the entire industry and there's nothing nobody can do about it. Yeah, no, like I said, they smell blood. They smell ownership and they are pushing it. <laughs> I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure Nintendo can do a good job. They've been doing it for years, you know. They're pros at it. Well, everybody's saying Microsoft is going to be the new rulers of the consoles and you better get in line. Yeah, and but majority of democracy does not equal the right answer. You know? And, well, that's what... Democracy, right. made, you know, democracy made a bomb to present with it, right? Well, that's what, <laughs> all, that's what all the people are saying, is that Microsoft is going to rule the gaming console, and you better just get it down on your hands and knees and bow down to your new video game masters. And you have no fucking choice to shut the fuck up. Yeah, I can see that. Like I said, the only thing that would change that would be um, if uh, what would be really smart for both the only way I see that being challenged right now would be if both Sony and Nintendo join forces. No, they don't have to join forces, but they need to stop playing consoles. They need to start playing the new platform. If both Sony and Nintendo turn around and take their contracts that they have with the various people who make games for them and port all of that over to the the mobile uh, platforms uh, and, and, and so on so it can then be emulated on the desktop and so forth at, then Microsoft is threatened because it's, it's like holy crap where did this shit come from how do we compete with it uh, yeah. but Windows 8 is going well Windows 8 is first going to have an app store on it which I guess you all knew yeah and uh, it's going to have the ability to play Xbox games on there. Yeah, no, that, 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 that might, that, like I said, it's short of competing directly with that on the other platforms, Android and iOS. It, well, that, it's Microsoft, you know, they want to rule, it, when they, they don't want to just rule the gaming industry. They want to make sure that they control all the gaming industry. And that every uh, gaming designer has to work with Microsoft, and if they don't, they'll go to bank. Yeah, well, I feel like well uh, you know, and you know what? That that's a very scary world for me because it's already that way in the junior colleges and colleges that teach you how to make games. They don't teach you how to make a game. They teach you how to download a Microsoft engine yep. and use Microsoft yep. development tools and software suites to and make a Windows and Xbox game. That's yeah, what they. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then they teach you okay, how to make a game like off that it's on a daily basis and you have no other choice it, before that it, I mean even when Nintendo was running the industry it was all open GL stuff but now it's just you know you want to be a gaming designer get on your knees whip out Steve, uh, Bill Gates' dick and start blowing <laughs> wouldn't that be Steve Ballmer's well yeah crazy Ballmer too <laughs> that's <job. laughs> No, no, Yobbs has said he hates games. He's just acknowledging that Apple needs them to make money. He, he acknowledged it because everybody forced his company into it because of the uh, iOS devices. He didn't think it was going to go to gaming. Boy, well, was he, 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 you know, he didn't that. think anybody needed an application for their device either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't know how that turned out. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead on, you know. Well, it's funny. It's just a job like... I hate games, and then all of a sudden there he is introducing games on his iOS devices, and like, like, he's giving billions of dollars, he's like, still pay the games? Oh, yeah, I'll take your fucking money, but I still hate these games. Yeah, 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 give me more billions. <laughs> like, dumbass, you're making billions off of something you hate. <sighs> hey, that was fun. It's like standing over a billionaire with a gun over his head. Like, yeah, all right, all right, I'm taking these money. I'm taking more money. All right, all right, all right, more money for me. Yeah, it's like, the re honestly, what that is, that's the reverse holdup. It's like somebody <laughs> went to Steve Jobs with a gun and go, God damn it, take this gold. <laughs> it's like, uh -huh. I'm depositing this gold to you. <laughs> It's like, I don't want it! It's like... <laughs> I know. He got on the record saying he had games, now he's promoting games. Way to go, Jobs. Ugh. Well, you know, that's what the iPad 2 was made to be. You know, it's like... In the, uh... Yeah. 
the oversized iPod Touch is all I see the iPad is. But uh, it's a success. I, I it, don't I don't know if success is the right word. Uh, you talk to me in three years when we see how the industry shelves out. Yeah. It, it, okay. Anything else we want to go into, or do we want to tail off there? Let's go. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll see y'all next week because we are actually backish now. Well, actually, we're supposedly making at least one more show this week. We think. <laughs> Not right, sure. Later. Okay. Right.